You never quite know what the sea is going to serve up. Among the usual tangle of rope, plastic bottles and buoys, this curious brown lump washed up on Terry's beach, the second one we've found. It's a compressed bale of crude natural rubber, thick, wrinkled and weathered by decades under the sea. The first bale appeared back in 2020. We had no idea what it was. It took us two whole days to move it off the beach. It was covered in goose barnacles, small shells, and we even pulled a swordfish beak from it. We left it out front of the house during lockdown and turned it into a guessing game for the neighbours. Since then, I've learnt that bales like these have been washing up on the other side of the globe, in Brazil, Texas and Florida, and scientists trace many of them to a World War II shipwreck. The SS Rio Grande sunk off Brazil in 1944 with a cargo of rubber, copper and tin. We once believed the rubber bales we found couldn't possibly be the same ones washing up in Brazil. But now, we're not so sure, because recently we found something else. A satellite tracker buoy that drifted all the way from Argentina to our coastline here in southwest Victoria. That discovery changed our minds. If a buoy can cross oceans to reach us, maybe these old rubber bales can too.